वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री दैट इज असेप्टिक प्रोसेस सैमुलेशन और द मीडिया फेल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट इज असेप्टिक प्रोसेस सैमुलेशन वेरियस पर्पजेस ऑफ मीडिया फेल्स कंसेप्ट प्रिंसिपल एंड द रेगुलेटरी एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम मीडिया फेल्स इन विच वी विल सी द नंबर एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द असेप्टिक प्रोसेस सैमुलेशन हियर वी विल सी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पार्ट that needs to be followed for aseptic process simulation including protocol and batch manufacturing records we will see study design for aseptic process simulations duration and number of units needs to be filled various points to be considered during aseptic process simulations including interventions and investigations for aseptic process simulation positive or contaminations first we will see what is aseptic process simulations aseptic process simulation is a tool to evaluate the capability of aseptic processing activities using microbiological growth promoting media in place of product here we run the process with growth promoting media instead of the product and see the aseptic pro processing activities aseptic process simulation simulates the aseptic process from the product and compound solution to final sealing of the container the media is made to contact all product contact surfaces of the equipment chain container closure critical environment and process manipulations which the product itself will undergo this processed media is then incubated and inspected for microbiological growth and this information is used to assess the potential for product units to become contaminated during the aseptic processing operations now we'll see purpose of media fields purpose of media field is to assess the capability of the aseptic process to produce sterile products reproducibility assess the contamination risk factors of the process and hence the state of control it is also used to assess vulnerability to microbial contamination it also demonstrates that the aseptic operating practices and procedures are appropriate it is used to evaluate the aseptic processing personal practices media fields are used to qualify requalify disqualify the personnel it is used to compliance with good manufacturing practices and regulatory expectations next part is concepts principles and the regulatory expectations number and frequencies of aseptic process simulations this section will give you idea about when we should go for the media fields the number and type of aseptic process simulations should be based on the risk assessment of the aseptic processes qualification or validation of new facility or new production process aseptic process simulation is performed after facility process equipment facility decontamination personal training room qualification and em program implementation is complete aseptic process simulation is one of the last steps in the validation process typically a minimum of 3 aseptic process simulations are a regulatory expectations semi annual that is twice in a year aseptic process simulations are regulatory expectation for qualified line or process any major changes to facility or aseptic process perform risk assessment to determine if aseptic process simulation is needed and how many next part is documentation documentation is also very important or crucial step for aseptic process simulation the documentation will serve as a record of rationale for aps design and its importance documentation should include step by step instruction of the performance of a aseptic process simulations acceptance criteria or results obtained or any deviations documentation majorly includes the protocol and the batch records the protocol prepared should should give the rationale for worst case scenario identification of room filling line equipment process flow types of container closures to be used fill volumes minimum number of units to be filled line speeds and type of media to be used that needs to be covered in the protocol this protocol shall be prepared prior to starting the study 
दिस शुड ऑल्सो इंक्लूड द पर्सनल ट्रेनिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स डिटेल्स अबाउट बैच रिकॉर्ड टू बी यूज डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द फाइनल रिपोर्ट्स नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज द बैच मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रिकॉर्ड बैच मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रिकॉर्ड शैल बी प्रिपेयर इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड एडिशनल सेक्शन डिटेलिंग द स्टेप बाय स्टेप परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द इंटरवेंशन शुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस बैच रिकॉर्ड ऑल इंटरवेंशन परफॉर्म प्लान एंड अनप्लान विद डिटेल्स सच एज टाइम ऑपरेशन ऑपरेटर्स इन्वॉल्व ड्यूरेशन द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द ट्रे फील्ड एनी लाइन स्टॉपेजेस सैम्पल यूनिट्स रिमूव शुड बी क्लियरली डॉक्यूमेंटेड नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज स्टडी डिजाइन ensure that for aseptic process simulation study or program incorporates risk factors and assess the state of process control aseptic process simulation should simulate manufacturing operations including worst case activities and conditions as identified during risk assessment some factors to be simulated or evaluated during aseptic process simulations are the filling longest duration of run on aseptic processing line various interventions that may be inherent or corrective aseptic assembly or line setup this parts needs to be covered in the study designs next part is duration and number of units fill the duration should simulate the longest fill or be representative of routine operations the duration should be sufficient to allow all interventions and process steps to be executed number of units filled during aseptic process simulation should be based on contamination risk and sufficient to simulate the process generally 5000 to 10000 units are considered acceptable for average production runs there are some conditions to select number of units to be produced first is uh, for production batches less than 5000 units the aseptic process simulation batch should be equal to production batch size then for production batches of 5000 to 10000 units aseptic process simulation batches should be comparable size and third is for production batch sizes of more than 10000 units the aseptic process simulation batch size should be 10000 units with several approaches to the batch size and filling process next point is points to be considered during aseptic process simulations there are six points important in this section the first is number of aps for new line process a minimum of 3 aseptic process simulations are required for ongoing requalifications minimum semi annual is required that is twice in a year if different processes are performed on the same line each process has to be reevaluated semi annually second is container closure if multiple sizes of containers are used in the line then the same type and in same process shall be used while aseptic process simulation bracketing approach that is smallest and largest risk based approach can be used to cover container closures third point is filling speed in the filling speed generally it is to be set as the production range however if higher or lower speed present worst case conditions those may be used next is fill volume container need to be filled to full capacity amount of media should be sufficient to contact all container closure surfaces when inverted and allow for detection of microbial growth fifth point is media use most common medium used is soybean casein digest medium that is scdm medium uh, this medium is capable of supporting the growth of aerobic microorganisms or microorganisms commonly found in clean room environment and personal samples also Six point is inert gassing. Typically, nitrogen or other inert gases are used to protect oxygen sensitive products and also to provide positive pressure for 
transfer. For assembly process simulations, the nitrogen should be replaced by air, the same method of delivery and at the same steps. These are the few important points in aseptic process simulations that needs to be considered along with this all the interventions that we are doing uh, regularly for protein batches that needs to be covered and the last point is investigations for aseptic process simulations if uh, they found a contaminated or positive a thorough investigation should be performed and documented with root cause and corrective and preventive actions clearly identified at a minimum the investigation should include the following these are the few minimum things that needs to be covered during aseptic process simulations they are species level identification of the contaminant and comparison to environmental monitoring and personal isolators second is holistic look at all systems and engineering controls third is environmental trend and recovery review fourth is personal activities and requalifications sanitation process review and trend review of previous aseptic process simulations all the information given in this video is taken from the fda's guidance for industry pds technical report number 22 and eugmp annex 1 if you like this video please like this video on youtube and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching welcome friends to very interesting topic